Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video and this time a quick little review of the iPlay Micro Arcade. I received this as one of my Christmas presents. Uh, my kids and wife, they know that I love my retro arcade gaming stuff and uh, they picked this up at a local retail store. I mean pretty cheap, I think it costs about 250 or 300 Rand which is what, I suppose about 15 pound. So let's have a quick look at what the iPlay Micro Arcade is all about. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, first off, it says here 240 games built in. And uh, if you have a look at the actual advertising blurb over here, it says, Your own retro arcade game for the most gaming fun ever. 240 included games with clear 16-bit graphics. Full control joystick and buttons, enhanced backlit screen, as well as it operates of three AA batteries, which are obviously not included. Okay, so I've taken it out of its box. I must say, uh, the shape, I do, I do like the shape of it. It's very light. It's all plastic. I mean, it's, it's obviously pretty cheaply made. If you have a look there, the controls. Very stiff, but, um, you know, it feels like sort of arcadey. Little buttons. I mean, it doesn't actually look or feel too bad, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you compare it to my good old Neo Geo in the background, it, it's sort of a, a faithful copy of a classic arcade game. I think they could have done a little bit more with the uh, artwork around it. I can't really open it up. I see at the back it does have four little screws for me to open it up. But uh, then it means tearing the actual stickers, and I don't want to do that. It doesn't have an auxiliary power supply, so it can only run off batteries. But I think most disappointing of all is that there's no video out on this. I mean, on most of the little, you know, portable game machines that you have nowadays, they do have a little video out that you can actually play the games on a bigger screen, which would have been great. But when it comes to these things, the most important factor is, what are the games like? Okay, so I hope you can actually see this clearly. It's not always that easy to get some good gaming f footage over here. But the main menu, with this horrible little tune playing in the background, is uh, you've got sports games, you've got shooters, you've got puzzle, and you've got arcade. Supposedly 240 games all in all. But um, you'll quickly realize, as I have, that uh, a lot of these games are actually very, very simple little knockoffs of other games. So if you've ever had one of those lovely little Famicom uh, carts with clones on that says it's got a thousand games in one, you more or less know what you're in for here. Although not as bad as, as those games. So I think first off, let's go into shooters. So it's a simple matter of going in there. I choose the shooters and I think, yes, why not? Let's, let's have a look at a classic old one. And the first one up is a Gallagher. So it's a matter of just, and they were into it. I mean, it actually doesn't sound that bad. Let's see what the controls are like. That's actually not bad at all. It's actually very playable. I mean the sound effects are there, the movements there, this little joystick actually plays very nicely. Although, are these, are these 16-bit graphics? They certainly don't look like 16-bit graphics to me. Ah, let me get captured. This to me definitely looks 8-bit. I think they're stretching the... You know, every time I've played... Ah, that didn't help. Okay, so well, that's enough of Gallagher. Let's try something else. So it's a matter of hitting that button, it restarts it again. And you can see, yeah, you've got Street Man, what's a super shooter, UFO, water fire, some really ship defender. Let's see what the hell that is about. Hit the button, in you go. It looks like another little. Okay. 
Okay, here we have a Zevius knockoff. And again, these definitely do not look like 16 bit graphics. But again, little joystick plays fine. This definitely is playable. Let's go out of that. I must say, this little menu system seems to work pretty well. Let's try this. Say cross. Oh, okay. Side scroller shooter. Never heard of it, never seen this game before. But it actually. Why aren't I dying? Oh, there I died. Let's try something different. So if we hit that button twice, we should be able to get out of there. And uh, let's see, let's try Arcade. And what do we have under Arcade? Music Composer? Blue Jack? Mm, what could Blue Jack be? Oh my word. I have no idea what this is. So it almost looks like one of the old Game and Watch. Oh, I see. Okay, you go and you water plants and then they grow. And I died. Don't know what the hell I was doing there. <laughs> okay. It almost looked like one of those Game and Watch type games. Shepherd. Squirrel. Courtship. That sounds very interesting. Squirrel courtship. Oh I see. Okay so my little man moves there and I've got to shoot. Oh okay and I make the female squirrels happy on the side there. What the hang? I think I'm supposed to feed them nuts. Weird. You know this actually reminds me a lot of playing some of those party games on the Nintendo Wii. What is that? Beast Sting. Okay, let's give it a go. Is this a Donkey Kong ripoff? I'm moving along the bottom. And I'm shooting a monkey at the top. Oh, and I can jump there. And again, graphics look very 8 bitty. Okay, so let's go back and let's just try puzzle games. I love my puzzle games. Oh, Sudoku. I actually do enjoy my Sudoku, so let's have a quick look there. Oh, okay, now this does not, so if you have a look at the top block there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, we don't have a seven, so I suppose I'll go down here. Seven, and if I click there, seven, okay, so that took that. I don't like this control mechanism for it. But I mean, you could play Sudoku with that. Let's go out of that. Pipes. Mm, okay, I suppose I've played this sort of pipe. So again, it's sort of got this theme in it of lots and lots of little mini games, photo puzzles. Stainless, I suppose. Color balls. Let's see what that is. Start button, stage one. Oh, no idea what I'm doing here. Again, very 8 bitish. Now let's just try a quick sports game. And there we got VR tennis, penalty shootout, football training. What else we got here? Dots. Oh, let's try Super Bowling. Hmm, okay, very basic. Again, very 8 bitty. Let's just try one more. Discus throwing. I mean, even listen to that sound. That even sounds like from the 8-bit era.
and I'm winding up and I'm winding up and I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there, there's the power there. Okay. Oh, okay, it's a bit of a... <laughs> and I fell on my face. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, what are my thoughts here? For what you get, and for what the price that you pay, I suppose it's not too bad. But it is plastic. It is cheaply made. The controls are, mm, they're alright. They're not too bad. But then again, these games are, mm, okay, you got one or two. I actually quite enjoyed that Gallagher. I suppose that's why they actually put that first. Because it's not that bad. But I mean, the rest of these games are all lots and lots of sort of little mini mini games. Let's see there. Troopers. I mean, look at that. That is as 8 bit as you get. Okay. So these are definitely just little rip-offs of all those classic 8-bit games. And that tune, I wish there was a way to switch the tune off. It drives me insane. Close quarters. Sort of like a 3D shooter type thing. No, not for me. I suppose the only old game that I would have enjoyed out this whole lot would have been Gall Gallagher. So guys, overall, you're getting you know what you're getting when you buy one of these little knockoffs. I think these games are definitely 8-bit and uh, mostly just little mini games. I suppose there's probably 10 good games amongst the whole 240, which is why it reminds me so much of those Famicom carts, you know, a thousand in one games. And they're also similar, all little bits and pieces. But overall, not too bad. Sound is alright, control methods are alright for most of the games. So if you ever come across one, give it a go. It's actually not that bad. I like the shape of it. And uh, yeah, so that is the Arcade Machine Micro from iPlay. Cheers, guys. I hope you enjoyed that.